This is the production pharmacy for the University of California San Francisco Medical Center. Uh, it is located about four miles from the medical center and so we don't produce the first doses here. So the initial doses are prepared uh, very close to the nursing units in a satellite pharmacy and then the subsequent doses come from this facility. So we're able to provide IV doses, uh, oral doses, uh, injectables, topicals, all come from here. So there's pharmacists are highly trained in the selection of rational drug therapy and they should spend more of their time on really the cognitive uh, aspects of pharmacy and less on double checking, triple checking um, medications because the, the uh, robotics are actually very accurate to a level that you can't expect human beings to meet. No, there'll be a whole series of them, but did you see it put the label on it? Yeah, I saw that. The the purpose of this is really to drive our patient safety agenda so that we have um, uh, fewer opportunities for errors to happen anywhere in the medication management process. Uh, starting in October of 2011, we'll have bedside barcoding uh, along with our electronic medical record and that will really complete the loop. and. Um, it's our goal to see uh, medication errors eliminated. Because it'll make it much more efficient and more free from possible errors because the machines just don't seem to make the, mis the mis mistakes because of the way they're programmed. And it'll be faster because apparently the doctors will type in the script and it'll go and go right to the robot and there's not four people handling it in between. Both of these are better for patients because they have the potential to reduce medication errors that previously would have taken place with traditional dispensing systems that are used in most hospitals throughout the United States. but it does allow for an augmentation of the role of the pharmacist to ensure the quality of safety of medications, particularly high-risk medications like heparin, insulin, and narcotics.